all age arts. My name is Veronica Anderson. You can call me Mrs. A. Um, today's project is a really fun collaged project. That means we're taking paper and gluing it on top of paper. Uh, you can work small or you can work large. Um, I decided this subject matter being animal faces. And the way that we can create these collages, this is a, a nice project to upcycle. Um, you can upcycle with the backing that you're creating your artwork on. You can upcycle with the paper that you're using. You can use paper from magazines, from newspapers. Um, you can kind of create your own paper if you'd like. That's my favorite thing to do with watercolors, crayons. You can use markers, any material you choose. Now we are going to tear this paper. So when you're creating it, think more abstract. Um, and at the end, when we put it all together, all of a sudden our artwork becomes more representational. So we're kind of going from abstract to representational all in one art project. You can even use paper that already has um, different designs or colors on it as well. Great project for upcycling. Let's go over our materials. To start out our collage today, you're gonna need a lot of paper. You can have already decorative paper, colored paper. You can tear pages out of a magazine or you can create your own paper. I had a lot of fun creating my own paper. I used crayons and watercolors um, just to create some abstract artworks. Don't put too much time into this because we are gonna be tearing the paper. You also need a supportive backing. You can use tag board or poster board. You can work large or small, or you can even cut up your favorite box from a snack or a cereal, and that creates a great backing for this project. Now that we've chosen the paper we're going to use for our project, we're gonna tear it into strips. I'm going to start by just tearing it in half, and then I'm gonna try and make these strips fairly thin, going all the way down. If I accidentally tear a small piece, don't worry, just set it aside. You might actually use those small pieces. Now that we have our piles of torn paper, I'm going to start by creating kind of a center dot in my um, artwork here. And that is going to help me um, keep the balance while I'm creating this collage. So I am gonna glue these papers so that they all point towards that center dot. And it's okay for them to extend off the side of the artwork. We are gonna be layering, so I'm not too particular right now exactly where they're going to go. Maybe my top pieces I'll be a little more careful with. But I really wanna cover a lot of ground here. All right, I'm gonna keep on gluing down these pieces and I'll show you at the end how it comes together. All right, now that you have most of your board covered, you can always go back and, and see if there's any of that background that's still sticking out. And you can take these little pieces and really bring them in to play and cover up the back so that it is a completed artwork that it's covered. Now it's time to put the face on our animal. We're gonna create the eyes and the nose with a separate piece of paper. I am ready for the eyes and the nose, and when I was tearing out paper out of the magazine, I was inspired by this little kitty's eyes and nose. So I'm using a separate piece of paper. I'm going to start with like a blue or a purple to get my eye shape down. We did do an animal eyes video that talked about the gradation that happens within the iris of the eye that you can reference. Now, because I am cutting these out, I can also do the nose right next to the eyes here, and I'm not too worried about that. I'm gonna double check the size. Oh yeah, I like the size already. I'm gonna continue this, and then we're gonna collage it together for a finished piece. Now that I have the eyes cut out, I just wanted to show you something kind of funny. Whoa, kitty. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna glue these eyes down onto our artwork and make your decision on how far apart you want the eyes, how close you want them. Um, I also outlined my little nose so it wouldn't get lost. Once you glue down these pieces, it's time to go back for our final details and that's where we can color on top of all of this collaged paper. 
So with the crayon, I went back to add these final details to the artwork. And I just wanted to remind you, we started out very abstract, and by adding the eyes and the nose and things that are recognizable, we created a representational artwork. Go back, add these final details. Now I'd like to show you some artworks created by students of mine. The great thing about this project is you can work small, you can work large, you can use paint for your details, oil pastels or crayons. This artist actually cut out the face and added ears and cut the round part of the face, creating the contour of the kitty's face. And we have this artist really left the edges frayed, kind of created a feathered look for this ostrich. And last but not least, I have this one here. And he wanted to leave it pretty plain. He just wanted the eyes and the nose to be glued down, and it looks great. I hope you had fun with, these, with this project, and I can't wait to see what you create.